Now you may ask yourself, what is a Latin square design? In simple terms, a Latin square design is a square array that is used in experimental design. The Latin square gets its name from the fact that we can write it as a square with Latin letters to correspond to the treatments. It is primarily used to ensure that only one variable is affecting the outcome of an experiment. The main rule for Latin squares is that each row or column cannot have the same character or concept in it. In this example, you can see that all the letters are arranged in this fashion. In Latin squares, there are two fundamental concepts, blocking and treatment factors. Blocking factors are the variables that you are not trying to test. The blocking factors are the variables along the rows and columns. The treatment factor is the factor that you are trying to test. In this example, the treatment factors are the letters in the Latin square. For a Latin square design, the number of rows and columns has to correspond to the number of treatment levels. So if we have four treatments, then we need to have four rows and four columns in order to create a Latin square. An assumption that we make when using a Latin square design is that the three factors, treatments, and the two blocking factors do not interact. If this assumption is violated, the Latin square design error term will be inflated. Now, to get a better understanding of Latin squares, we can consider a basic example. Imagine that you're a scientist trying to answer the question of which type of fruit will rot the fastest. In this experiment, we are considering four types of fruit, apples, bananas, oranges, and strawberries. Our blocking factors for this experiment is the temperature and humidity level because we are only interested in testing which type of fruit will rot faster. Our treatment factor in this case are the types of fruit. As clearly shown, this example follows the basic rule of a Latin square design. If we now consider an engineering application, one example is if an aerospace engineer wanted to test the question, which jet engine fuel provides the best fuel economy for a jet engine? If we consider four types of common airplane fuel, Jet A, Jet A1, Jet B, and Avgas, these will be our treatment factors. Our blocking factors will be atmospheric pressure and temperature. Just as before, we can use a Latin square design to test different combinations for the four different fuels. By using the blocking factors, we can see how each fuel performs under a certain condition. For statistical purposes, we can also use the previous Latin square to construct an ANOVA table. We can construct the ANOVA table by using Excel. The key piece of information from this table is the F ratio. By using this number, we can decide whether to reject or not reject our null hypothesis. Another piece of information we will need is the F critical value. This can be found by performing a table lookup. If the F ratio is less than the F critical value, do not reject the null hypothesis because we do not have sufficient evidence to reject the null hypothesis. If the F ratio is greater than the F critical value, we have sufficient evidence to reject the null hypothesis. Here are the sources for my information. If you would like to learn more, check them out in the description below. Have a nice day.